in this video we're going to talk about render method so render method is called whenever the state changes or props changes then react calls the render method and then it checks at the virtual dom it renders all the changes in the virtual dom uh, on one of the copies and compares it with the other copy and if it finds any change then it goes ahead and updates that in the real dom okay so this is a required method in a class component so this is only used in the class component it is not used in the functional component and it should return uh, react elements uh, which can be in form of JSX or arrays, fragments, portals, string, numbers, booleans or null which means that it just doesn't return only elements it can return arrays also and the other things that I just mentioned and it should not modify the component state as I've already explained in my previous tutorials that you should never call set state inside of render method because otherwise it will go into an infinite loop it does not directly interact with the browser okay so if I just check the react uh, documentation um, so we have already discussed all of this and you can see that it re it can return react elements arrays and fragments portals string and numbers boolean etc okay and uh, now I'm just going to show you the example of the same so let's say this is uh, my app component okay and uh, it's extending the react component okay and it has got a random method because it's a class component all right and uh, now let's create another component which we have been doing before as well home import react from react and then create a class component home extends react dot component and as it's a class component it must have a render method and it should return react elements or it can return null or array etc as well okay so <coughs> the job of it is to render okay so let's go ahead and pass some of the props from the parent component okay so I'm going to go ahead and include this home I need to do an export default as well export default home okay and then just go home over here and then just pass some props okay and I'm going to do a cons console log over here console one and I will say rendered and I can get the value of this dot props because I'm passing props from there but uh, So you can see that we have this rendered being displayed over here uh, since we have console log. Okay. Now if I go ahead and change something uh, into our home component, let's say I change my props. First I will clear the console. And if I change this to say it, let's say, you can see the render method is called again and that's why we have a console uh, log over here as well. Okay so render method is called when the component is mounted okay so if I go ahead and uh, refresh the page you can see the component is mounted so uh, it is called okay and it is also called when there is an update okay this update could be in, in different ways it could be by when a new prop comes in when get derived state props is called when should component <coughs> update is called set is state is called force update is called and so all of these ways render method is going to be called so I just want to show you that example you've already seen about props so when the props change render method was called let's try it with set state now so what I'm going to do is again we can take the similar example of button okay click me and then <coughs> on click this dot handle on click and I'll just define that outside of the render method an arrow function and the job of this to do a set state of course you won't be able to do set state unless you go ahead and define a constructor method 
is takes props if you don't do super props over here you won't be able to use this dot props here okay and then we initialize the state first by doing this dot state and name is equal to let's keep it blank for now empty and I need to do set state this dot set state and I can say name is equal to let's say richer okay so what's going to happen as you expect that when a button is clicked this method is called with the job of which is to go ahead and set the state and as we are expecting that whenever a state is set render method should be called okay so that's why you see the render method is common in both whenever the component is mounted or uh, when it's updated the render method is called okay so let's let's try that so I'm going to click you can see render method is called when the state is set and you can see that uh, let's see yep state is changed to richer okay great and I'm not going to discuss the example of force update I've shown that to you in the previous video but uh, just as you know that render method will be called uh, even in that case as well okay I just ensure don't do set state inside of it uh, inside of the render method otherwise you'll go inside of the infinite loop and also keep uh, whatever logic you want to apply uh, as much as possible outside of the render method because the render method needs to be fast okay it can be called multiple times you can see that whenever the uh, component is mounted updated set state uh, new props or render method is going to be called over and over again uh, react may batch uh, multiple set states uh, together uh, however still we want to ensure that you know we keep our logic minimalistic over here so that uh, you know it can be called multiple times and the performance is not impacted great guys uh, so in the next video we're going to talk about get snapshot before update see you then bye bye